Welcome back guys. So in last videos we have seen like selectors and uh, CSS. Okay. So in this video we are going to explore what is XPath and uh, different kinds of XPath. Okay. So fine. First let's understand what is XPath. Okay. So so even before this automation tools like uh, ignore about a playwright or selenium or you know protractor or anything. Even before that where the systems two systems if they want to connect or if they want to transfer the information normally they used to do it with xmls okay i mean uh, prior to this automation uh, you no know, advanced automation tools so that time they were using xmls and later on they have started using json okay so during the xml period they wanted to identify certain uh, fields okay so for example uh, if a particular uh, let's say like there is an xml and in that xml if they wants to find a particular text or a particular item in that one they wanted to have one way of finding it okay so that time they have invented a thing called xml path okay so if you notice xml and html both follows the similar syntaxes like uh, for example let me take this example uh, this particular web page so for our example we will be using uh, this particular web page only okay so if you see the source code in the top it has the html element in the bottom in the very bottom if you see it will be closed that html tag similarly the next is head head and the head is closed body and then at the end the body is closed so everything follows similar to xml okay so html and xml are similar i mean uh, you have a starting tag and ending that particular tag not all the time but most of the tags were ending okay so because of this they felt like why can't we use xml path with html okay that's when this xpath born okay so xpath is nothing but xml path okay so you don't have to get confused so if you learn xpath you can use it with xmls as well also for the xpaths okay i mean for html xmls and htmls <laughs> So we are not going to worry on the uh, XML as of now, okay? Because uh, XML is kind of uh, expired or differentiated, you can say, because now everybody uses uh, JSON, okay? For JSON, people use JSON path, okay? So, so we will be seeing if possible. Otherwise, mostly we will be uh, using only the XPath throughout the tutorials, okay? But uh, when we want to find XPath, okay, we, we can use a different kind of uh, add-ons, okay? but previous to i mean like uh, four or five years back firefox was supporting a tool called firebug and along with firebug we used to have a firepath okay so these tools used to find us the expert it does not find us the expert but when we form an expert normally we use those tools to verify the expert okay so this is the history basic history but uh, firefox has removed that firebug and firepath because uh, uh, fire uh, you know firefox started using a uh, gecko engines okay so because of that one total structure of the firefox changed so uh, then onwards you know uh, the fire path and uh, firebug does not support the you know uh, firefox so here without using a tools we want to find the xpath because if you are going to be dependent on some tool or add-on then you will never write it on your own so for this tutorial i'm not going to use any kind of uh, any kind of uh, tools for creating it automatically okay so we will be using a chrome browser and you can use firefox browser as well so everything will have the same kind of a dev tools okay so here this is the elements inspector inspector okay so this is the inspector if you want to find an uh, you know element or the source code of an element you have to click this one you have to highlight it on them now if you see here it says button type uh, type equal to button and then strawberry is the value and then closing the button so this is the basic html okay so like this one we can find the source codes once you have the source code then it will be very easy to form the xpath i mean like after practicing sometimes it will be easier in the beginning it will be like uh, quite confusing with the xpath but as the days goes you will get to it okay but 
In this tutorial, we are going to cover almost all kind of X bars, somewhere around 20 or something like that is there, but we are going to cover everything in it. Okay, if you watch this tutorial, you can use this X path throughout all the automation tools. Okay, paid ones, free ones, open source ones, anything. Whenever somebody says X path, you can use these concepts anywhere. Okay, now, so prior to building that, uh, you know, X paths, okay, let's see whether we can extract it using the Chrome itself. Okay, for example, here we have a button, right? For a strawberry button, let's consider. Right click on that particular element, okay? And here you can see copy, okay? Hover on the copy, on the right side, you will get a couple of options. Cut element, copy element, we will not be doing it. Copy outer HTML, we don't want HTML, copy selector. So here the copy selector is nothing but copy CSS value, okay? And uh, there is a JS path, we are not worried about. Copy styles, styles is on the right side, you can see the styles, right? Colors and all the stuff. So here we have two X paths. So, so these are the things we are interested in, okay? Let me copy, copy X path, okay? Now I got the X path. So this is one of the X path. And what is the full X path? Let's copy that one as well. And I'll explain what is full X path and the other one. Okay, so this is the full X path okay this is the something like some x path okay now using this tool you can copy the x paths okay that's what you need to understand don't worry about how these are found so end of the tutorial you will not end of the tutorial after two or uh, three minutes sir you will understand this is nothing okay so first there is an x path so inside x path again we have two categories categories one is absolute and the next one is relative okay so what is absolute x path the absolute x path is nothing but whatever we copied as the full x path right here uh, we copied it as a uh, copy full x path okay if you see it you will get to know it okay so here it starts with html okay which means the absolute x path starts from the document level i mean very high level so from here you have to write the x path html for example if you want to find this element this button okay you have to come from the top okay now that will be like html inside html we will be going to the body inside body we will be going to the division inside division this division container fluid division and then a row division and then lg8 division and then we have a card 3 division and then we have a division of pancakes and here we are using strawberry okay so these many things you have to follow okay this is absolute text but that basically starts from the html level okay so you can for example let me copy this thing and showcase it okay you can in this uh, source code just click on something okay just click on anywhere in this source code under the elements and press Control f okay here you will see the you know uh, a kind of a text bar so where you can paste your locator and see whether you can whether you have found the right one or not okay if you see it showcases that particular uh, strawberry button it's highlighted okay so from the html it starts okay if i remove it till body so it will highlight only the body okay it will cover all the things but the problem with absolute text path is when we are using it in our web applications normally the web applications it is not like it's going to be like uh, build it today and use it for 20 years it is not like that so you will be building the uh, web applications today and tomorrow you might have a little change in between and day after tomorrow next week the changes keep coming okay new elements will get added okay so this is a normal thing in any of web applications so in such cases if you write absolute text path okay so uh, let me back it there okay so here we have this particular x path right so if i insert one more element here okay let's say here i'm going to edit the html just like that we can edit it it's not a big deal okay i'm going to add a division okay and at the end
okay anyway we have added a division here right now if you see the x path it will not find it because we just added one simple division the x path failed if i remove this division okay if i remove this division the x path works fine okay so you cannot uh, you know use the absolute x path because of the changing uh, features in your applications okay so if you want to use a x, uh, you know absolute x path then it's up to you but if it's a complicated application see if this particular ui is very simple okay but uh, if your application is a complicated applications then the absolute x path will go for kilometers and kilometers okay that much length it will go so instead of that one we will be using a relative x path so what is relative x path as we see as we have seen the absolute x path starts with the starting html okay so relative x path can start anywhere okay for example it can start with html itself okay it doesn't matter basically it can start with anything okay but we will not be using starting with the html and all we normally the first rule of forming an x path is form it with the element okay for example this is the element we are uh, try, uh, trying to target try to form an x path using only these details and that is the first rule if you are not able to form it using this particular details then you can use the parents details okay so basically the x path should start from the target element and go little and little and little up okay if you are not able to form if you are able to form with using this element then that is enough okay you don't have to go to parent or child or nowhere okay so now let's understand the terms okay now this particular pancakes division is a parent okay and this these buttons are children right right so this particular uh, line whatever you see that uh, blueberry button here okay this one is sibling of this particular button and these two are siblings of this particular button and blueberry siblings are banana and strawberry okay basically they have a same parent okay this one is the parent okay and these are the child now this pancake becomes a child to this particular card mb-3 okay now the card mb-3 becomes a parent and pancake becomes a children okay and these becomes children anywhere okay you can say immediate children and these are children anywhere okay or you can say it as a grandchildren as well okay but normally you can say like this is immediate children uh, i mean immediate child and these are children anywhere okay or grandchildren now this is the term so step by step if you go again for the let's say for this particular lg-8 division this uh, mb-3 division becomes a child mb-3 is a child and lg-8 is the division i mean the parent okay so for this one becomes a child when we consider the container hyphen fluid because container hyphen fluid contains this particular uh, you know uh, card i mean lg-8 okay so this is a child and this is a parent so it keeps on going okay now now let's start understanding the x path or let's start creating the x path okay so the first way the first way is always going to be so basically the relative x path starts with double slash and the absolute x path starts with a single slash okay can i use it in a combination if you have that kind of question yes you can use it in a combination it doesn't matter okay we will be seeing that one okay now first way is using a tag name okay what is tag name here if you see the button is the tag name okay here the division is the tag name and the oil is the tag name okay yes now how do we form using a tag name so it is a simple double slash tag name okay here we can see if you want me to increase the size let me increase it if it is difficult to see i hope now it is better actually okay so here you can see it is a tag name okay it does not match anything so double slash is the format for writing a tag name 
okay so double slash tag name so here what we are trying to see is button okay so here if you see here there is one button and uh, here there is another button and we have a blueberry button and a banana button and strawberry button and apple button right so when you are using a tag name it can match multiple items okay we will see how to remove the other items okay other matches and only forming the right ones okay so this is uh, how you will use the tag name the next one you can use index okay so for example in the buttons if i want to have only the first button okay so i can have first button here if you see there are too many matches okay let me pull it little up okay if you see one two three four so basically here you can see four matches but how there is four matches when i am trying to use the first child okay here index is nothing but the child i want the first match okay so here i am trying to get the first match but when you try to get the first match you still get multiple items how okay so let's understand that one first okay i mean let's understand that one as well it's not like that is the first one so i'm going to edit this thing and uh, actually this is uh, one of the html i have created okay fine i'll copy all this stuff okay so somewhere i'll uh, you know html formatter just i want to showcase it in a clear way that's why i am trying to you know format and use it format html languages okay let me increase the size a little bit okay i hope you guys can see all the stuff here all right now now let's understand why it was matching multiple things it was matching the blueberry apple and pie okay let me showcase it again okay and there is one more other match okay so blueberry apple pie and there is another match we don't uh, worry about the other match we will focus on the these three matches okay now why the first element was matching with all the things here the index basically the if you write something in the square brackets it's called index okay so index means match it with the first item okay that's what it means so when i want to match it with the first item why so many repetitions are coming okay now let me explain this is one parent okay p1 let's say here it is called p2 let's say p3 okay so parent one parent two parent three now we have three parents now you, when you say i mean this could be a parent or as well as child in case if you consider the other one the other element now here if you see these are in the same levels the pancakes is sibling to this pancakes and this uh, this one for unique okay section 1 section 2 section 3 are siblings but these are parents to their inner elements okay for example this pie apple and blueberry for these elements these are parent now the question comes first of all explain why it's matching more than one because when we are trying for the first element yes so this is one parent okay for this parent the blueberry is the first child okay for this parent i mean parent 2 for parent 2 the apple is the first child okay for parent 3 the pie is the first child okay now let me take a screenshot of it and go to paint come on okay paint is giving me a hard time okay let me zoom out a little 
and crop it unnecessary things okay now we are good okay so now here this one is a parent one parent two parent three but the child matches here the first one is here we have our first match and then we have another match and we have another match so these are the first child of a respective parent okay okay now you the html basically html and the xpath how it decides is you ask me for the first child that's what you are asking here okay it will telling us it will be telling us you are asking we are asking for the first child so the stm i mean expert says you asked me for the first child but we did not ask for which first child okay so everything here is a button button and button and button okay in these three three places we have buttons only okay in the starting you can see so in the button you get me the first match that's what we said double slash button square brackets of one but these have a different parents okay because of which the html and the xpath are returns three matches more than if there is more than uh, three childs then it will return more than three matches okay now you guys have to understand when you say get me the first first index you have to mention under which parent the first index you mean i mean which parent you are meaning for okay so it will match all the things but but now i'm trying to match the first very first child that comes in the uh, you know document for example let's say uh, there is one more uh, xpath here in the navigation level okay for example in our website we use two other buttons this tools and topics okay when we minimize it so that button is also coming as match but as of now we ignore it okay now when we want the first match what we have to write is we have to make it as a group index okay the thing is called group index it is called group index what is group index group index is nothing but now you are making this one as a child one and the child one and the child one right so by default this is the way but when i use a group index this one becomes the first and second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth this is what the group index will do when we say group index i don't care under which parent it is there okay I just want you list down all the things I mean all the matches and mark one two three okay you don't change the sequence just because the parent is different that is what group index so when I say this group index is very simple you have to cover the X path using parenthesis in the front and in the back okay now again we have 11 matches right now if I want the first match okay so here it matches with the button that is not available here but when i minimize it it will come okay so you don't have to worry okay this is the button it is pointing to so instead of a first one i want to target to the second one so where is the second one so this one is second so the another button was here this one this is the second match okay now get me the third one so third one here you can see that blueberry is the third one right right so if i want to get the fourth one now banana is going to be fourth one and fifth one is going to be strawberry so you keep on changing okay you can keep on changing using a group index okay the group index will be useful when you want to number the matching items one to whatever the end it is okay but you don't want to re you know renumber the it matches under different parents okay by default what happens is like for every parent this one becomes one two three if you don't use basically if you don't use a group index then every child here becomes the first one okay here it will start with one two three again here the numbers starts with one two three here one two three because everything is under different parent so it will keep on uh, renumbering under different different parents so instead of renumbering 
uh, for the different parents and the uh, child's for of a different parent if we want to number it you know all together once i mean like irrespective of a parent we want to number it then we will be using a group index okay so using group index you can find the exact match okay the next one we have is an attribute now i hope you guys understand what is index and what is group index index means it will number all the things all the child elements but under parent if it goes to under another different parent again the num numbering starts with one okay when we say group index it will group all the elements and it will number at basically it will number the matches okay that is group index next we have attribute how to find an element using an attribute now we have seen with a tag name and index and group index but we want to match it with the attribute so here for example type is an attribute and uh, here name is an attribute here id is an attribute the attribute could be anything okay for example these are few things i was thinking so for example let's say class this is an attribute area i even expanded equal to false that is an attribute okay everything inside other than the tag and the text becomes an attribute in the html okay some people will say property as well so you can say interchangeable property or attribute okay so this is an attribute okay area if an expanded and this is the attribute value what is whatever is the right side of the equal sign that is attribute value left side is attribute some 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 attributes will not have a right side values for example read only hidden by default they will take you know true as the value even though you cannot see it okay now let's learn how to using how to use attribute so here we will be using double slash tag name here for index we will be using something let's say star star and square bracket here what we say is inside the parenthesis we will be having star star and uh, we will be having it outside okay yes now let's start talk about attribute attribute is simple way okay you have to write the tag name okay when we are using a tag name okay we uh, sorry yeah when we are using a tag name we made it something like double slash tag name right so now let's say i want to find the blueberry sorry banana button okay let's consider this one so name is equal to banana here okay but the tag is button so i'll start with the tag double slash button okay so there are too many matches and in the button i want to find a particular attribute okay again i'm inspecting it okay so again based on this particular attribute i want to form the x path now name is equal to banana when you write in any attribute or a property you use a square bracket okay square bracket at for a, all the property or attribute you have to use the at sign okay at name equal to a single quote banana okay so it will not match till you complete it okay so now i close the square bracket if you see it matches with banana right right so this is how normally you form it with property or attribute okay so for attribute you will be using anything could be and then you have say like uh, at attribute equal to attribute value okay so this is basically for your attribute and this is how normally you will be using for attribute and attribute value okay fine now the next we have one more question now i am not sure about my tag name but i am sure about my attribute so how do i find it okay this is normal question anybody can get at any time so when you are not sure about the tag name but you are sure about the attribute so in such cases instead of a button here you can put a star okay when you put a star it the star could be anything button a division or a 
paragraph or label or uh, no anything okay it could be anything basically the star means the value could be anything so still we have one match because the type i basically the name is equal to banana but if i remove it it will match with every tag present in the html okay so this is how normally you do it when you don't have a tag name but you if you have an attribute value okay the next one okay you will be having a parent okay let's say you know about the parent i mean under which parent it is going to be present but you are not sure about the child name or a child attribute okay what i mean is let me open it here here you might know it either it could be under a pancakes or another pancakes or unique okay let's say the element or whatever you are looking for is present under unique okay and you know that the element is going to be the first child okay let's say first child or second child for a moment's sake we will consider the burger okay now you know it that it is going to be burger okay but i mean you don't know about the type or a button okay or you have some clue you can say now what you can do is you have to consider the parent value okay now using a parent value you can find a child okay so how do we do it double slash the parent details so here it is a div and id equal to unique okay div here we have to mention at id okay now you can see there is one match here right right so here it has three buttons pie burger and juice okay now what i am what i know is now you can see it but in future something may come okay or may not come that's a different thing but in case consider that you do not know the value here but one thing you are going to i mean you are sure is it's a button okay that is what you know okay so you want to match with the first button okay so how do you do it slash basically the slash means immediate double slash means anywhere single slash means immediate so here you are saying find that uh, you know division which has the id as unique okay inside that one there should be an immediate child which is a button okay now if you see there are three matches because everything is the child or uh, children of this particular unique division right so everything matches now if i want to find only one match i can use the index okay so now you can ask why it did not find these you know uh, the child of pancake and pancake other pancake because here i am already telling him find it inside the unique division here the id is unique basically in a division where the id is unique inside that one find me the button okay so it finds these three buttons so if it numbers the numbering is going to be one two three so which number i want one by the way so far we are talking okay but i did not mention i should have mentioned it earlier okay the xpath starts with one okay normally programming languages starts with zero but xpath starts with one only okay so one means the first one so here it matches with the first one now if i put two it's going to match with the second item and the three it will be matching with the third item okay in case if i want every match you can use the just button it will match with three items okay so now you might have a question now i know with uh, mentioning one i can find the first button but can i use a group index instead of uh, you know just using a square bracket here absolutely you can use it okay here also you can make it as a group index okay and one you mention it again it matches with the same item okay using group index is a good thing because you never know what is going to change in your systems okay fine so now you found the first one 
so this is how normally you use a parent reference so you have to find the parent and then use a slash and then find the child okay now the, sec the another question comes now I do not know the immediate parent okay for this button I do not know any ID and all okay I know that it is going to be a parent but what I am sure is I am sure about this MB-3 class okay how do you use it for a class so here double slash do and in square bracket at okay well, let's find it again back okay instead of mbi hyphen 3 let's take a uh, call hyphen uh, lg hyphen 8 i'll tell you why i am taking this one and why not the class okay class equal to call hyphen lg hyphen 8 okay now close it so it matches this one so we found the parent now now we have to find the button okay so the button something here you can oh, it could be burger orange or banana anything okay now we have to find it but i am not sure whether its parent is going to be something okay i'm not sure about this unique or i'm not even sure whether it's this particular uh, parent immediate parent is going to be a division so how do i do it you ignore it okay when i I already explained like when you use a single slash it finds the immediate child okay but when you use a double slash it finds a children anywhere okay so I have used a double slash now I'm going to write button here okay now if you see these nine are going to be match here okay why this nine is going to be matched now okay you can have that kind of doubt because these nine buttons are present inside this call hyphen lj hyphen division okay so that is the common parent now now if you want to find this pi button okay this pi button what you have to do you can say that uh, why can't we test it with uh, index so if you see index three matches one is blueberry second one is apple and then pie you can see it here right so these three matches but we wanted a pie only so how do i do it can i use a group index yes you can use a group index okay now the first one matches with the blueberry so that is not our match and the second one matches with the banana that is also not our match and third one matches with strawberry that is not our match fourth apple and fifth is going to be orange grape and sixth is going to be our pie so i'm going to directly write sixth sorry not sixth is seventh okay so the seventh is going to be our pie here and here also you can see it's getting highlighted okay can i write it like this one and i don't recommend writing like this one okay the index must be used when you don't have a way to find it okay so that is very important when you don't have a way then only you can use the index okay there is another way of uh, writing the same index now okay now sometime back we have used the first child right so first child matching blueberry apple pie now can i use the group index outside as well here i can use three okay now it matches with the pie so do i recommend this way of writing no i don't recommend this way of writing as well okay remember one thing i said use that particular element only first okay now if i want to find this pi i have to try hard to form an xpath using this particular you know code source code only the pi using pi only but when i am not finding then only we have to go to parent but we are not sure of a parent we are sure of this particular parent right now in this pi if you see there is a type you can use a type button but everything is a button so this is the time when you go with the index okay but but by any chance if you know the parent okay by any chance if you know the parent okay this one the id is unique right if you know the parent then definitely i suggest using that parent but id equal to unique 
okay and then you have a button so for this particular thing it's a immediate one okay now can i use the index yes you can use the index okay because you have no other way okay so this is how normally you form with you will find with a parent and child okay parent immediate parent uh, second way is writing double slash parent child anywhere okay so this is the second way the next way is a uh, writing text for example now as i was explaining okay let me write it here next is using a text so now i was telling use the index but it should be like when you don't have any other way to find it then only you have to write an index okay now let's learn one more way here solve this so basically text is nothing but whatever you can see uh, between the greater than sign and the less than sign right that is your text here pie is text and the burger is text grape is text okay basically what you can see in the ui normally that is normally a text okay so here how do we find it so normally so far we are using a attributes okay that id class type these are attributes but now what we are going to use is a text text is a function present in the x path okay function okay now you have to remember okay attribute means at sign okay function means it is going to be a parenthesis okay it should be parenthesis so how do i write it double slash again you can write the same way now if you are sure about the what is the tag it is the button if you are sure you can write it as a button otherwise as i said you can use a star to find it anywhere okay it could be anywhere which has text it, this is a function basically text and the parenthesis text and the text is equal to pi okay now you can you are able to find it with one single thing right but now if you see it using this single element we are able to find the x path right yes so this is how normally you should write the x paths so using the single element code i mean the source code of the single element you have to try to form the x path okay so this is how normally you use a text okay there are other functions as well we will see it okay in a moment we will see it so now you have seen a star right now again you can have matching anything as we see the star can match anything here at the same time if you have something like uh, you know div where uh, uh, let's say at id equal to pancakes okay now we have two matches inside the thing if you write slash and star it will match every element present in there okay it matches everything just i want to teach little on the wildcard basically this is the only wildcard normally we use it okay so now let's come to the attributes itself okay now we have seen a text function we'll see it in a little detail now okay now we have this type equal to button okay or id equal to unique now some cases okay in some cases for example let's say in here i have given that example here okay in uh, blueberry okay we have a id okay it could be something like a blue i have written a blue let's say in your application you have some random text instead of a blue okay now how you form the x path okay you can say button first button which okay has id equal to something okay you can write the value here but if your id keeps changing then you cannot use that id right so in such cases if you are sure for example in my case for example not in the apple but in the blueberry 
blueberry if you see the id is some value okay but the other elements does not have a id okay if you see it has type and name here we have a type so here we have id only in the blueberry button so what i can do is i can write just id button of id but here there is one more match because here is also there is id okay the second match is the second button we have seen the third match is it matches with the blueberry item okay so now this is the one way of writing it okay now consider that consider now instead of not pi let's go back to the same example itself here we have id but in this one we have a name for banana right can i write name here obviously you can write it okay but let's consider that sometimes sometimes okay sometimes you don't have any attribute at all now the text will may go out here okay so here it says banana but there is no attributes okay for when you are writing a button it can have a attribute or it may or may not have okay in some cases if you are using a label or paragraphs you will not have the attribute by default so here i don't have any attribute okay now what i wanted to find is i want to find all the elements which has some attribute okay now i can see at star okay if you see it here it matches everything okay so little above if you see it matches this one the blueberry and it matches with strawberry but it did not match to banana because it does not have any attribute but in next path we are seeing it could have any attribute okay but it should have attribute okay so that's what we are saying any attribute but it should have at least one attribute that could be id class uh, you know data if an id aria if an label it could be anything but it should have an attribute okay so in some cases you don't know the tag also means you can put a star and match anything that has an id okay so like that also you can do it okay so next 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 explore little little more little more here itself okay so here i have written banana right now sometime back we were using a text as well okay now this one goes something like a button and we were writing text equal to some value but what is the value here it says blueberry so i'm going to copy it and paste it in here okay it matches with the blueberry let's say let's edit this one and it says something like uh, something like this some random text is there okay okay uh, let me edit a little more okay some random text is there but i don't want this random text okay some random text is there and there is an identifiable word is also there some attribute which is not changing some text which is not changing okay here if you see it's a berry but here this one is a random value when you uh, refresh the application the values may change okay so you have such kind of value so how do you find it you can use another function called contains okay contains means like if anything contains this function or this attribute okay so when i say contains here inside the parenthesis i have to mention text function basically anything that has a text of blueberry and again i have to close it so it will not match anything because there is no such thing as a blueberry here only we have a berry so what we do is we keep it to berry okay but it has two matches one is this uh, blueberry was there okay random berry and then we have a strawberry so here also we have berry right so it matches these two okay so this is how normally you use a contents contents basically 
using a you know a sub string basically sub id or sub text and you find the element without knowing the full text okay that's why that's when you use a contains so now you uh, you can ask me that now you have used the function text that is fine can i use the attribute yes yes you can use the attribute remove the text function and add at sign and which attribute that you want to find here let's say for example id attribute id okay comma berry it will not match anything okay but if i write blue here whatever you can see if you can see the blue here i can write the blue B -L -U -E. okay now if you see it's highlighting and we have a match okay so normally this is how you will be writing uh, using contains okay the next one okay now we remove it so in using experts you can find one element one match or more than one match okay so now we have seen contains we can we will have few other functions as well okay for example your application has some buttons let's say okay but you are not sure how many buttons and if you want to get the first button how you use it square in the square brackets you will be using one as the index so this one matches the first one or you can say in uh, if you put it inside the group index it exactly matches only one one uh, you know element because it will uh, it will number from one to whatever is there okay so now it matches so first one you can say it the first one but how do you say it for the last one because if you are sure that your application has only 10 buttons or 10 checkboxes you can say like bring me the 10th one but 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 in your application if you are not sure how many buttons are going to be there sometimes it may be 10 sometimes it may be 7 sometimes it may be 6 so if you are not sure then there is a function for that as well okay the function is called last function so first we have to write our x path instead of a one i can write last function okay as i explained last the last always last is a function and functions will have a parenthesis and it will not accept any value or like one two three something like that it will not accept it is just a plain function last okay so this one finds the last button or for example whatever the x path you have written in that matches it will bring the last match okay so this is last match so do we have any other functions we have so many functions okay so let me open the next function let me explain okay let me write it here so text we have seen contains last and we have a starts with obviously there is going to be a ends with but uh, i'll start with a starts with once we are done we'll see okay now what is a starts with okay starts with is nothing here if your attribute or something okay it's a function again you can the function also you can use it or attribute also you can use it along with a starts with function and if you know about something sometime back we were using right here blue okay for example let me copy this id okay let's edit it here and say id equal to okay say something like this okay if i say contains okay let me know yeah now we were having contents right so when we use contents it does not care whether it's in the beginning or it's in the end or it's in the middle okay that's why we will have two matches the blue is here and the blue is here right it will match the substring anywhere present in that particular html okay so that's what starts with but when we use a sorry that's what contains is but when we use a starts with that means that whatever id or whatever the attribute that we are trying to uh, see uh, that should be starting with the given value for example if i want to use a starts with it is similar to contents only starts hyphen with okay it matches only one value because here the id starts with blue b l u e and we have given blue b l u e but if i 
write it as skd here let's see what happens sk so here the second one got highlighted instead of the berry okay so the second one highlighted so this is how normally starts with words it now you can ask like you are using it with attribute what about the function yes you can use it with function as well for example text text and if it starts with adv okay let's say adv okay so here this one starts with adv right so that one we are matching it here okay that starts with text okay when we have a starts with obviously we will have a ends with the ends with is similar to starts with but instead of a starting the particular string should end with okay now here it is simple yeah i have to write ends ends hyphen with okay so ends hyphen with adv there is no match for that one because the adv is in the beginning but i can write berry here okay berry. text okay berry. Hmm. okay it is not matching sorry end with i guess okay okay somehow uh ends with is not uh, giving any value okay let me try something else let me change instead of a text function i can write it as at id and ends with the v okay somehow ends with is not working okay so let's move on with the next function okay so now we have seen a few functions uh, text function and contains function last function starts with function okay now there is another function called position function okay so the basically the position is something like um, you know, let me delete this thing now uh, when we use an index okay so let's say we are using index index last instead of a uh, last we are uh, we can use index one two three four five something like that we are using index the position is also similar to your index only okay so instead of a uh, index we will be using position position equal to four okay so it matches with the four okay so for banana okay here if you can see it it's a banana instead of if i remove the position four also it will match with banana if i add it it will match with banana now you may have a question if just writing an index can do the work why we need a position okay the position not only works with equivalent sign here we are mentioning position is four okay so it finds the fourth one if we mention three it finds the three but here instead of a equal sign here we can write the other signs as well for example i can write greater than sign position okay the elements which has the position more than four okay the fourth one was banana now here i am trying to retrieve all the elements whose index is more than four okay see apple orange grape pie burger juice it finds the things i mean the elements which has the index more than four okay now i can write it three it will find it okay similarly i can write less than as well okay one two three okay it finds the three but it does not find the banana because that is equivalent to fourth one okay in case if i want to include it for greater than sign also sorry you have to put it in the front greater than sign also you can use it similarly for less than sign also you can use it so, okay this will be helpful for example when you have a 10 check boxes okay and you want to you know check only the first five check boxes that time you can use this one otherwise if you want to use the check boxes which is more than five i mean after five don't uh, you know check the fifth one but whatever comes after the fifth one check them in such cases also position will be very helpful okay 
so how do i make it don't check the fourth one i mean don't highlight the fourth one for example here if you see it matches with the strawberry and it goes to button i mean the berry not to banana right so i can use the not as well along with the position okay so this is one of the and one more function okay we can write something like greater than less than equal to not equal okay now we have seen the position function the next one is going to be case sensitive function okay so let me refresh this particular page okay I'll just uh, you know just get rid of this edits okay now sometimes you may know the right values and sometimes you may not know the right values in such case how are you going to handle it for sometimes some values may come in capital letters and the same values when you refresh it again the same thing can come in lower case okay how are you going to handle them okay so there is a way for it in xpath okay for example let's say let's find this uh, banana itself okay so now we have banana so here uh, how i write uh, the xpath double slash i can write a star and then i can use a text which is equivalent to banana banana okay now it matches okay for a moment seek if i make something as the upper case here and now it will not match even though the same everything is same only one letter i have changed it here okay a and it does not match so again i have to write here also the capital letter okay so exact same case i have to write but in some application sometimes it may come in the capital letters and sometimes it may come in the lower cases so in that kind of cases you cannot keep on going and editing the x path so for that purpose in x path there is a function called translate okay so what is this translate this translate function in x path ignores the case okay that's all nothing else it just ignores the case okay but this trans uh, translate function takes a uh, parameters okay couple of parameters important the target text we are trying and what are the characters that can change to lower to upper case okay so we have to supply those characters as well okay now instead of a text here i'm let me remove it I'm going to write translate translate in the bracket i'm going to set the target where the text is equal to i'm going to write banana okay all in capital letters i'm writing okay sorry not equal and same when we use inside the function we have to use comma banana so what could change i mean this one is the way normally uh, anything any value that can change okay say let's say like uh, a b c d and again we will give the respective lower case as well a b c d okay and once we have it once we have it here sorry bracket comma we have to give the the text that we are going to see okay here we are having banana uh, we can give it in upper case or in lower case okay so i'm going to give banana but instead of just like that writing we have to put it inside a single quote okay and close it now to close it now we can see it so here we are changing couple of things okay let me put it let me put it okay so here we have a banana and we are trying to match with banana
okay so it is not matching okay a b c d and we have not given all the texts right so here we have banana right let's say uh, let's write all the words a b n b a n a okay and write a b n sorry b n it should match okay so this one is also kind of giving a problem but let's try with the contains 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 translate okay. so now when we are using uh, contains for uh, with the translate con the translate must be used it seems the translate and it matches okay so we write a contents and inside contents we are writing the translate so the translate accepts a couple of things the text i mean the text function and what are the letters we want to ignore basically abn is we want to ignore and what is our target string going to be so here i am writing banana okay if in case if i write capital banana then it will not match because i have given the you know what it can go okay so here i have to write a b n and here i have to change it as a b n okay so if it is in the lowercase convert it to a uppercase and then match that's what we are saying get the text and if it is in lowercase change it to the uppercase and then match okay that's what translate is okay so then there is another functions as well okay let's see uh, based on the values uh, length okay so now we have seen a question and now translate okay translate with contents i don't know somehow i don't get the spelling for contents all the time wrong i get all the time wrong okay now once translate is done now we will be using value length so what is value length here if you see i mean value length you can say or attribute length also you can say attribute value length okay so attribute value length is nothing the length of the button here for example here uh, attribute value is button and it has one two three four five six characters okay now the length of the attribute value is six basically number of letters present there okay now what i'm going to write again i will write it double slash button it will go away obviously in the square bracket i can say for banana right in this one we have a type equal to button and the name equal to banana okay so here it is a six and here it is also six but we are going to mention the function string hyphen length string length of what which attribute we are talking about here so here i am talking about type type sorry at type we have to use at sign at type and equals to how many letters six letters right six and then we have to close the square bracket okay so now we have 11 matches okay and because here everywhere the type is equal to button only okay for example now let me edit this for the instead of for pi i'm going to add two more characters one two now here value is going to be 8 I am going to change 8 now if you see only here the attribute length is 8 that's why it is matching with this particular attribute okay so normally these uh, string length uh, translate and uh, you know uh, position these things can be used when your application is still in development it is not reached to the testing state okay by the time normally people write the skeleton code okay so for that purpose you can use this kind of uh, extra functions okay so so these are the few functions but uh, there are other functions but i'm not sure whether you guys want it or not 
okay let's say uh, one thing i can try okay uh, this normally they we use it in xml okay instead of a button let me say in some value 5 okay now i have a value 5 so how do i match the value 5 okay so normally we if it is normal means at type equal to 5 this is what we write okay i guess so for which one did i have changed it yeah type equal to 5 okay it matches but if everything contains like uh, for example this one contains 4 and this one contains you know 3 let's say now if this is when equivalent to 5 when the type is equivalent to 5 but normally we will not be using it with uh, automation but you can know it you can use the attribute with a relational operator greater than sign okay the type greater than 5 okay there is no match but if i change it to less than 5 see if 4 and 3 is the matches okay you can remove this one okay so these are the matches so similarly you can use it but this is normally used in xml not with uh, you know html mostly okay so i would not suggest using this uh, relational operator okay yeah but anyways i'll load it down should not use and try not to use okay so this is one the next concept okay now if you are clear with all the concepts that we have talked so far then we can proceed with the next concept but if you are not sure about this whatever i said or if you directly jump to this particular uh, part of the you know video then i insist you watch it from the beginning because the whatever the concept we are going to talk next that is not a complicated but if you don't see the previous one whatever we have talked so far it's kind of a difficult to understand okay this is called dependent independent x part. okay this is called dependent and independent x path okay but before jumping into the dependent and independent let's see one more example here i mean it will be easier to understand okay so in the same web page we have one more table okay so for example now i want to find the checkbox for google.com how can we find it the checkbox is here right so now i can view it view and it says like input checkbox can i write something like input okay one two can i write two yeah it does not match because it is present under one only okay everything is present under different parent so it is not matching so can i use a group index here for example home and a group index of two can i use it now i am able to identify the checkbox right checkbox for the google now i want to check it so you can use it with the automation code but did we find the checkbox for google the answer is yes we have found the checkbox for the google if i check it go this thing yeah it means it's going to check for the google right yes now copy this particular x path and refresh the page for a moment's sake okay now paste the value okay it says checkbox and it is says for google fine refresh it again now you try the checkbox is highlighted and can you see which is the related one here it says churcher tech right if you can see it it is not google anymore because i have designed this page in a way that every time you refresh these values will shuffle the rows will shuffle here for example google is in the first row now if i refresh it next time still this time by luck it is google is still there in the first one next time the google is in the fourth position and the next time it is in the second position okay basically the position of the rows keeps on changing 
okay how do you find the x path for such kind of elements so now it is in the second question whatever the x path we have written it is fine it was working fine but if it is refreshed will it work no there is very 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 minimal chance that the google may come in the second position again but it will not happen when you run it 10 times mostly 10 times are going to fail if you run it 100 times maybe one time may pass okay so this kind of x path okay not uh, you know what you say a reliable x path okay so remember as i said you have to form the element i mean form the x path using that only single only the based on that element right right but there are cases where you cannot form such kind of x path here if you see it you cannot form such kind of x path and also moreover i want to tick the checkbox which is related with the google only i'm not worried about the second checkbox okay next time if google comes in the fourth position i want to check the checkbox when you know i want to check the checkbox where the google is related here the first one okay now this checkbox still finds the second item only okay that item might have changed this is what happens in the e-commerce websites okay as the products keep on adding in the position of the products change and the checkbox related to that also changes so to avoid that one we will be using the independent sorry dependent and independent concept okay so in this concept one element is going to be a dependent on the other element okay so one constant element is there based on that one we will be finding the another element this constant element is called independent element for example here google.com is independent and this checkbox is dependent on the google.com okay this is independent and this is independent okay otherwise you can say like finding one element based on other element finding this checkbox based on the google.com okay so for that first you have to find the google.com okay first write the x path for google.com okay it says td of google.com now i can directly write td of text equal to google.com okay now it finds that particular value right yes this is good once we find the element and now we have to try to find the checkbox okay so for this purpose okay it is something like finding the blueberry button using the apple button okay it is similar to that now here we have a google.com what you have to see is you have to see like is this google.com and the checkbox are related somewhere if you see it here this td is present under this tr okay the tr let me check whether recording is on <coughs> yeah the recording is on now you have to find the relation between this checkbox and google.com here the google.com is present here and you have to navigate to its parent to see the whether both are related or not tr okay see if you see it here these two are highlighted okay the google.com also the checkbox here right so these are present under the same parent so what you do is put a slash here and put a double dot okay in unix when we say double dot we normally say like navigate to parent okay that's what double dot means in xpath also the double dot means navigate to parent okay now we are navigated to parent so this tr now the checkbox is also present here when i highlight it the total thing is masked the total row is masked you can check right so this is also present so here inside this one somewhere the checkbox is present so here it is not present here it is not present 
maybe inside this td it is present right so if you see the checkbox is present so how do i navigate slash you can write td okay now if you see what are the things are getting highlighted the checkbox google.com search engine okay but inside td you have input okay inside td we have input that's what checkbox is so we have to write it something like this one okay now i copy it if you see it this one matches with the google one here if you see it this one gets highlighted because google is here right okay now let me refresh the table still the google is in the first position and the checkbox is in the first position you may think because of that it is matching okay let me refresh it again now google is in the third position if i hit enter for this x path it should match with the third checkbox if you notice it matching with the third checkbox okay here okay so now we are forming the now we have formed the dependent and independent x path now again you can optimize it here instead of a td i can put i can remove it and use a double slashes here inside this particular tr parent anywhere that input box is present okay now also it find you know finds the checkbox fine refresh it uh, sorry refresh it again because the position has not changed lucky three times in the same position okay so <laughs> it's giving me a tough time like it's not changing the location okay so anyways if it changes it finds the same one okay because here we are not writing the xpath for this checkbox but we are writing based on this google.com okay okay this time it changed now it enter it will be highlighting the fourth question okay the fourth checkbox is highlighted okay now you understood that using the parent we are finding it in case if it is not under immediate parent how do i do it again use a double dot and you check it is it present under the this particular division i mean this particular element yes it is present okay now double slash i can use or a single slash based on the requirement okay now i can highlight anything okay so here i can write input okay but one problem is the moment you find that immediate parent for both of them okay both of the things if you find one parent you should stop writing the x path and you try to find the input okay unless i mean if it is not present under immediate parent i mean immediate parent then you have to go a step above okay once you find the parent and if you go above little more then it is again becomes a normal x path and it will not find you whatever you are expecting for okay this is dependent and independent x path okay now so we have used dependent and independent x path okay this is called unix way okay so there is another uh, x path uh, thing is present that again expands into multiple thing but we'll see okay that is called access okay uh, it's called normally x path access it has the different kind of things for example you can find the same uh, you know same thing or you can find its attribute based on attribute you can find its you know uh, following sibling or a uh, previous preceding sibling okay here if you see let me take only google okay here let's consider the google we found and here this td whatever this td is there right this is a preceding sibling and the search engine is the following sibling okay whatever is in the top that is preceding whatever is in the bottom that is following sibling okay so now uh, you can find it in a forward access or in a reverse access okay forward access means you will be uh, finding whatever is next to it or inside it okay reverse access is means like parent and parent parent forward means child great uh, grandchild great grandchild like that okay okay fine so first we'll check with the forward access okay 
so for forward axis I'm going to take not this table but I'm going to take the buttons okay so let's take the third one because third one we have given some parameter right ID that's why okay now the third one I want to find this particular uh, division complete division okay I can write double slash div okay and inside that one I can write ID equal to unique okay so it finds that element once it finds you can write x path for its ch uh, child we were using like a slash uh, something like a you know a button right similar to that one you can use it with axis as well okay axis also provides similar kind of thing so for that we will be using uh, we will be using a self okay it will not highlight anything don't worry okay and then we have to use a double colon colon and colon and then we have to find the children whatever it is there okay this is finding the same one okay now if i want to find the child for example this one we are finding for the child right so now we can find its child children basically okay how do we do the children so we have to remove it the self instead of a self we are going to write child child okay and again double uh, colon star okay so now it finds all the children okay so once uh, the chil children is done now we can write again the same kind of x path double slash or you can directly write input sorry button here which button you want to find so you can write the button here okay so this is one way now so we have seen the self and child let's see descendant okay descendant is similar to that uh, child only but it not only finds a particular uh, you know a uh, particular children it will find all the children uh, you know inside it for example let's consider one more x path here instead of this one i'll go with the college icon thing okay here dev at class equal to okay so it's a uh, front so this one finds this all the stuff when i use slash child double quotes sorry double uh, colon star it finds its ch uh, children immediate children only if you see the buttons are not uh, you know selected or nothing got selected only the breadcrumb and some other things okay but not all the things only three matches so this is the immediate children that we have used a single slash itself single slash star that itself finds the same result okay that we can achieve it using a descendant as well okay then we sorry a child itself not descendant or a single slash uh, star or you can use a child uh, double colon double colon star okay and then we have a descendant descendant double colon and star okay now it matches everything for example all the buttons all the things it will match okay any children grandchildren everything okay child matches only immediate child descendant matches all the uh, children children and basically uh, children anywhere children grandchildren great grandchildren anything okay among that if you want to find a certain type only okay with a certain tag then you again you can use it with that particular tag okay so now there is another uh, parameter that you can use descendant descendant iphone or iphone self okay yes okay that is not matching anything 
the spelling mistake is there descendant descendant or self okay it can it will match with the same one as well for example if you see it for the first match it will match with the division which has the call uh, iphone lg iphone 8 here i am seeing the match number of match okay the first one see the it matches with the same also it's children and uh, grandchildren as well okay so this is the one again we have following after descendant we have following okay following means anything that is following it okay for example there, there are too many matches i can go a little okay the first okay the first one is here because this is the only equivalent level after that lg8 where is that yeah here if you see it here it finds the following elements all the elements okay now lg we have taken it is kind of a difficult let me take uh, that uh, pancake example okay id pancakes okay so here we have pancakes so it finds all the elements that is following it could be children or it could be sibling okay the following means now for example if i say this one is the target okay whatever we have targeted this is the one okay so in this one okay if we give a following it means whatever is coming in the html next to it okay so this one is also next and this one this one this one and uh, this paragraph and this division everything is comes following to that pancakes okay so it will match with everything irrespective of child grandchild great grandchild or even it's going to be a parent that doesn't matter to it okay it will match all the things okay for example to showcase the parent i'm going to write uh, ideas uh, banana not ideas banana but yeah capital b okay hold on just find the banana okay name is banana not id so here we are using a name banana but there is no match but here it should be button for banana okay now if you see it this is inside but the following is outside of that particular parent itself okay so this paragraph is outside this pancakes but still it matches because in the html it comes after it okay even this pancakes everything it matches whatever comes after it okay similarly we have preceding as well okay we will talk about that one as well okay for example let's say okay preceding it is not matching anything but yeah we'll save that one as well just in a moment okay we'll start with the scratch again so here for this particular apple let's say i want to find the its parent okay so uh, i will write something like double slash star and uh, in square bracket i will be writing a text equal to apple okay it matches this one so if i want to find the parent parent i'm going to write the same thing okay it finds the parent double co uh, double colon star finds the parent in case if you are not sure it's parent then you can if it has multiple parent then you can use you know instead of a star you can use some other thing also okay for example here i can use div also div also will be finding okay so now we have found the parent but i don't want the immediate one. i mean parent finds the immediate one but instead of immediate one i want the all the ancestors i mean like parent great parent i mean grandparent and great grandparent so for that you can use ancestor okay so it starts with very top and it comes okay for apple everything is the ancestor right 
okay but instead of that one just i want to find the ancestor which input tag is div okay now it finds only the divs so inside this pancake only we have apple right so here we have apple so it finds its parent and it finds the little up grandparent and its great grandparent and great great grandparent and it keeps on going okay so if you want to find a certain parent you can give the tag name or you if you want to find all of it you can give a star i would not recommend using a star but you can use it the division or whatever the tag name it is okay so similar to that we have seen this kind of thing with a descendant so similar to ancestor we can use ancestor or self okay double star yeah again it finds everything if you want to omit something you can use a div i mean if you want to find only the certain things okay you can use a div okay and then we have preceding sibling preceding sibling what is preceding sibling okay so let's go to orange here okay instead of apple i'm going to use an orange okay the preceding sibling for orange for orange the preceding sibling is apple okay for orange the following sibling is grape okay preceding sibling and following sibling okay it should match proceeding i'm spelling this wrong or what let's find this one first okay proceeding uh first we have now we have to write proceeding proceeding iphone sibling It is not finding any preceding sibling. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's all right. Okay, preceding sibling should find it, but uh, it is not finding. The preceding seems like it's not uh, working. Let's try with the just a simple preceding. Okay, the simple preceding is also kind of giving a tough time. Okay, so normally this is how you can use the access. Okay, so that is all about X paths okay you might have seen uh, the access you have seen like a parent child following preceding somehow we did not do it ancestor and some other things as well okay so so these are the different types of expert that you can write okay yeah fine so but before ending okay in the beginning i was telling about this particular m card space mbi hyphen 3 okay when you have this kind of uh, thing okay even in the css locators we have talked about okay these are two classes just because there is a space you cannot consider it as a single class okay it is two classes okay you cannot use it even if you use uh, two classes as a copy it it will give you an error okay but how you can use this one is double slash div at class you can write something like this one okay it will match but normally what you should do is okay something like contains the first word contains comma okay and again you have to follow the same thing okay i'm going to copy the same contains and paste it and instead of a card i'm going to write mb-3 okay so normally this is how you can write the x parts okay using contains okay when it has two classes but uh, you can write it with uh, spaces also but normally i suggest like this one uh, if you ask me why now this is a particular uh, for an element they have given a two classes 
tomorrow okay for example let's say you are writing something like this only uh, control z yeah something like this one tomorrow if they insert something okay say a red okay they want to highlight it with red or something and they will insert some class okay so now if you see it will not match okay so instead of n if instead of middle if they include at end okay still it will not work but if you write the xpath something like this one it will match all the time okay because classes are not unique identifiers okay that you need to remember as a tester that classes normally used to decorate that particular element so today it could be in some decoration and tomorrow it could be in a different decoration okay so when you use a multiple classes i mean classes with the spaces try to use this format only okay so that is all with the uh, xpath okay thank you guys if you have any queries you can leave it in the comment